Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, by now, I'd imagine a lot of you must have heard the big news already. That's right, Halo Reach is coming to MCC and getting the full, glorious 4K 60fps HDR treatment. That's right. Woo! That's pretty awesome, right? I mean, well, as you can tell by this video title, that's not all. Because in addition to Reach coming to MCC, the entirety of MCC is also coming to PC. That's right, for the first time in over 10 years, a full-fledged Halo game, technically multiple full-fledged Halo games, is coming to PC. But what makes the PC announcement even more monumental is that it's not only coming to the Windows Store, which a lot of people didn't like, it's also coming to Steam, which is the most popular storefront for PC gamers, and it's heavily preferred over the Windows Store too. So it's it's great news. This is like amazing. So I actually do have a confession I want to make to y'all before I talk more about this. The truth is, I've actually already known about Halo Reach coming to MCC and MCC coming to PC for quite a while now. About half a year in fact. You see, there's a group that 343 brought on to work with them and get feedback from them for the development of MCC on PC. Uh, pretty much from the very, very start of it. Now, without naming any specific people, this group basically consists of a lot of people from all corners of the Halo community, so uh, it's quite possible you may know some of them. But anyways, it's extremely reassuring to see this level of transparency and willingness to take feedback from the community on 343's part. I don't think I've seen another studio or game developer work with its fans and community to this degree before, so I do genuinely want to thank 343 for the opportunity to help out, and I do applaud them for their efforts. You see, Halo fans have been asking for Halo games on the PC for a long time. Since the beginning, really. And sure, there were PC releases up until Halo 2, but that's really all I can say about, um, especially like with Halo 2, that's really all I can say about the, the release, is that it was released. Because <laughs> almost everything else about it was pretty much not what people wanted or expected from a PC game. There are a lot of flaws with Halo 2 Vista. Um, but this time around, hopefully, 343 gets this PC port of Halo MCC done right, and I certainly have faith that they will. But yeah, knowing about this for as long as I have, it was definitely fun to see everyone trying to predict what was going to be announced uh, yesterday. Uh, some people's predictions were spot on, while others were more out there, or others were half correct. It was also funny seeing some people uh, correctly guessing exactly what the announcement was about, but then they proceeded to say, like, nah, there's no way that could possibly happen, but it would be pretty cool. Uh, turns out that they were totally right in the end. It was definitely one of the biggest secrets I've had to keep <laughs> the whole time, and I'm happy that I'm able to share this with you all now. <laughs> After all, I'm sure everyone is totally excited and looking forward to the uh, prospects of Armor Lock in 4K 60fps. <laughs> But um, now let's discuss how all this is actually going to work, because there's actually quite a few things you need to know about this. Let's start with the Xbox side of things first. So Halo Reach is the only big thing coming to MCC on the Xbox side of things, of course. I mean, and that's a huge thing. Uh, but the way that's going to work is that the multiplayer portion of the game, stuff like Forge, Theater, Custom Games, and Matchmaking, will be free for people that are already on MCC. So don't worry about like having to pay for that portion. Uh, you'll just install it through the intelligent uh, content delivery install menu on MCC when it's available. As for the campaign, that'll be another separate download that will be considered a paid premium DLC. Uh, there's no word on pricing yet, but I don't expect it'll be crazy expensive or anything. My guess is that it'd be similar to when ODST was released. That's all speculation though, so we'll just have to wait and see um, on what the final pricing will be. But I highly doubt it's going to be like a full priced <laughs> game just for the campaign. <laughs> Uh, but if you have Game Pass, though, it will all be included. So if you have that, then don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, and of course, as I mentioned earlier, if you have an Xbox One X, Reach on MCC will indeed get the full 4K HDR Xbox One X enhancement on top of already running at 60fps. So in other words, it's going to look really good. Like, it'll be like one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen. <laughs> uh, but now let's move on to the PC side of things. So, aside from like having all the same stuff as the uh, Xbox One X release of Halo Reach, uh, the, first things that, the first thing that you need to know is that not the entirety of MCC is coming to the PC all at once. 
it will be a staggered release, meaning only portions are getting released at a time. More specifically, each Halo game in the collection will be released one at a time in chronological order based on the lore. So when MCC PC goes retail, the first game available for it, and the only game available for it at launch, will be Halo Reach, because story-wise that took place before Halo 1, and of course that's also the newest game in the collection. Then a little later, I don't know how long later, but it will be Halo 1, or Halo Anniversary really, then Halo 2 Anniversary, then Halo 3, and so on. So unfortunately, that does mean those of you who were hoping to play Halo 3 and finally finish the fight on PC will have to wait a while longer um, still because um, before Halo 3 actually comes to MCC, we have to wait for all the others to come first. So this, it could take like, I don't know, up, to, up until the end of the year really, but I, I don't know the exact release schedule. Uh, this might not be the most appealing release plan for everyone, but the alternative would have been to wait until everything was complete, which could have been up to like another year, really. So it's not really that bad, all things considered. I mean, some people would rather like start having pieces of it like right away, rather than wait longer, because everyone was really looking forward to this. So it's a good start, but just want to make the, make it clear to everyone that it's not going to all come out at once when it's uh, released. That doesn't mean that 343 is shipping a broken game or an incomplete game. It's just uh, they want to make sure that each game is like works almost perfectly as good as possible before they release it. At the same time, they want to get it out as soon as possible to players rather than making people wait a long time for it. Because uh, you know there hasn't really been like any major Halo announcements recently. So and Halo Infinite is probably still a while off. So it's probably a good thing that um, at least we can get something to. to uh, play in the meantime and you know I don't expect it's gonna take a long time to release every game in the collection but we'll see but um you know like I said it's not that bad plus Halo Reach being so new to MCC would no doubt keep people occupied for a while uh, there'll be definitely a lot to do on that and the good news as well is that 343 did say during the announcement that they know what people expect from a popular PC release of a game, and they did mention features like changing the FOV, which is the field of view, uh, some ultra-wide options and other customization options on PC games, uh, custom browsers, and so on, which is, you know, all features that we expect from PC games, so that's pretty good news already. It should hopefully be a pretty solid PC port. Not to mention it's also coming to Steam. That's, that's huge in and of itself. In fact, the store page for MCC is already up on MCC. It, it just says coming soon on there. You can't actually buy it yet, but the page is there. Uh, but, you know, this is all just initial announcement stuff, and 343 will no doubt announce more details in the near future. So, definitely, we do definitely want to stay tuned for that. Now, this is all really incredible news, and, you know, something that a lot of us have been dreaming of and hoping for for a while. I've been so excited for all this from the first day I found out. But, as you all know, my channel is all about glitches and easter eggs and other stuff like that, so there's a lot of potential here for new content on my channel related to that, which hopefully will excite you guys. Um, as you remember, Halo 3 on MCC being upgraded to 60 FPS did allow for a lot of new glitches that let us bust some old myths, like the, uh, the assault rifle on the storm that some people used to think was a scarab gun, uh, and it also let us test like a lot of new things out because of the 60 FPS. So it's quite possible, and even likely that in Halo Reach in 60 FPS, it will also open new doors for uh, new glitches and other experiments we can try. But we'll just have to wait and see, uh, you know, what would be possible when the game comes out. Until then, though, feel free to discuss in the comments of this video what glitches or Easter eggs or other experiments you might like to see me revisit when Reach comes to MCC. There's definitely a lot that we're pretty excited uh, to tackle, so do let me know there. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, I'll be sure to keep you all updated on any big news related to this. But other than that, as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, and definitely leave your thoughts in the comments about all this. I certainly would love to hear your thoughts about uh, MCC coming to PC and Halo Reach coming to MCC in general. Uh, and of course, uh, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And, you know, well, if you, like I said, if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to ask me, ask away, and I'll do my best to answer them. But other than that, I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.